very many questions. We've just seen o Oyole on, on the Nini on the TV. So Moliza, uh Kasabun, why doesn't it have an eye at the end? But Nasama Kasabuni. I have been informed that eyes are saved for special occasions such as iPhone, iPad, not just all willy nilly just putting eyes anywhere. Oh my gosh, okay, so all right then. <laughs> my name is Valentine, very call me color me that it is a beautiful Monday. What a way to start the week. We are now wrapping up real nice, like a gift. We are doing Man Crush Monday. And real quick, I want to introduce my guest. We only have one new member from our previous talk last week. So we have Oguda Sankara Kayesu. Yeah, we are two. He was there. Too. Yes, yes. He's the only guest. Oh, he's the only guest now. <laughs> Oguda Bradley Sankara Kayesu, you are honestly, you are truly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have a Gori or my uh, <coughs> version of Chilo Bay. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> You're doing well? Uh, yes, I'm doing quite great. Thank so you. I'm glad you know. Ready for the discussion. I yeah. can see. Yes, yeah, psyched oh. up. Ah, yeah, real amazing man himself. Uh, but of course. Oh my gosh. Uh, they call me Ram uh -huh. Abuko, the oh. really amazing man. Eh, eh. <laughs> guys, you, you have heard my panel is fantastic. So maybe, guys, so give us a recap. What were you doing last week? We were doing about. Uh, we were talking about uh, the professional life mm. and social life. Mm. No, we are professionals. Those who've gone to school, mm -hmm. those who are working, mm -hmm. are professionals. Professionals who have, uh, who who have been taught some ethics, like journalists like us. Mm -hmm. There have been there are things that we've been taught that we must follow. We must follow so that. The work goes well okay. and fantastic. Okay. That is the professional part. Uh -huh. And that doesn't stop us to be social beings. We're still social people. Mm -hmm. So we were discussing how we can balance the social part of us mm -hmm. and the professional part of, mm -hmm. of us. Okay. That's what we were talking about last time. Right. Yeah, and due to public demand, due to D P D <laughs> Don't We're going on with it today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe Ram, let's get you into the conversation. What mm. do you think, based on, uh, based off Kayesu's definition of the topic? Tell me what you think. My opinion mm -hmm. of this issue is that when we have a work working environment, mm -hmm. we have two people mm -hmm. who, at some point, t wanted uh, to get along or got along with each other. I don't see any problem mm -hmm. if at all they would take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. As long as they would know that when I am at work, we are at work. When when we are at home, we are at home. Mm -hmm. Because we have some circumstances, but we have people who are married and they are working mm -hmm. in the same place. Mm -hmm. So I have no problem with people trying to have a personal relationship in their office, as long as they can balance social life and personal life professional life oh. and everything what if you all worry your producer money because you are out hey you you spend some money chop chop it is weekend <laughs> 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 ah, then you see him tomorrow at work and you're carrying flowers for baby but you're telling him you don't have money what? that would yes, be a big problem let me pick from uh, Ka Kayes what he said uh, when he was defining a professional i would say a profession is somebody who's been socialized in a way to do things that are so uh, in uh, that are so specialized in uh, in a manner that is standard internationally mm. so for example if you're a journalist that's your profession as a journalist but that doesn't stop you from doing other things that are social that it makes you a human being mm -hmm. uh, things like relationship for example at work I could be your boss yes but uh, we can do other things out there uh, that are not re necessarily related to uh, to to work we can do business we can go out and hang we can do birthday parties for example so but li just like we said last week boundaries have to be de demarcated very early in time so that you know this is the the match i can push uh -huh. this is the less i can do you know up to that end and uh, if i remember very well when we finished i said somebody who is uh some some sort of when you are with them out there they mm -hmm. bring things that you did out there to workplace i yeah. call them a stooge and I will still stick to that. That person is a stooge. You're not supposed to do that, especially when it, if you're a professional. In fact, the moment you're labeled a professional, mm -hmm. then you, you, there is a systematic way of doing things that you're not supposed to go contrary to. Mm -hmm. 
it's the moment you step out of them, then you're not a professional. You're, you're okay. Yes. All right. So uh, guys, I want you to just just one minute, okay? So two two one six two is our text line. Two two one six two is our text line, and then you start with YM two five four. Just two two one six two. So with YM two five four, or again on our Facebook Y two five four, on our Instagram Y in the Morning TV Show, or on our Twitter Y in the Morning. What Y two five four channel hashtag Y in the Morning. So get with us and get with the conversation. But now. Before you start that, Ram said something very peculiar that we didn't look into last time. He said, what happens with people who are even married and work in the same place? Does it really work, my friends? It does. It does. Okay, for example, let me tell you, Gori, yeah. you know, you weren't here when we began the show. I started telling the Why in the Morning family how I am suffering from a heartbreak. Mm -hmm. I am here and last night. Mm -hmm. Can you now imagine, just imagine like Y254 if my heartbreak was caused by someone I see every day? Uh, do you, know, do you, do you huh? know the reason why I'm saying it does? In, in my profession, I'm socialized. Though we work in here in Y254, yeah? Uh, in our profession, uh, we are socialized in a manner that mm -hmm. when you're coming to work, if your wife for uh, your wife or your girlfriend ali kuchapa subui when you're coming to work if you had issues that you had you had unsorted issues in the morning that you needed sorted before sambili and you didn't sort them any other thing that is disturbing family whatever you leave them at the gate it's like a coat that you wear mm. you talk anayo nyumbani na kusumbua ukifika kwa gate you remove that coat you hang it by the door there mm -hmm. when you are getting in here you are a professional you are a journalist it doesn't matter what happened to you before. Mm -hmm. Even if you're beaten, you have a black eye or something like that. We know that you have a black eye, but don't make us feel that the black eye is there. Is there. Yeah, yes, exactly. exactly. And then after you're done with your production, with your reporting, with whatever you're doing, go out there. When you reach the gate, you remember your coat. You remove it from Take where it, you, hung uh -huh. it, you hung it, put it on, and then move on with it. Uh -huh. I tend to feel here. Mm -hmm. It will be lying if we would say that it is impossible for you to ignore the pain mm -hmm. you're going through mm -hmm. at work. Because you're human. Because you're human. No. Yes, if you're at it. all yes, yes. you have someone who has offended you and you're working together with this person Closely. in the same office, uh -huh. I tend to believe, especially for the ladies, because they are if, if, if I may not be misunderstood, they are emotional people. Yeah, we, emotional we, we people. can catch more feelings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but my problem is this. The fact that it is difficult for a lady mm -hmm. to avoid having those emotional ties when working in an office yeah. does not mean that you have to lose it when you're in the office. You change departments. It's very, you can work in the same. For example, in Y254, there are so many departments. Mm. If you realize that uh, you cannot proceed with this uh, place, uh, with this particular place of work because mm. of such particular reasons, then it will be upon you to go and convince, for example, your boss so that you can get a transfer. Mm -hmm. A place where you will not, for example, be meeting this person on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But truth to be said, you can be able to work with these people. But one thing again, mm -hmm. if you're a professional, then you will know that you're not supposed to bring your feelings. Even if you're a human being. Everybody's a human being, yes. Mm -hmm. We all have issues, but we don't bring them at workplace. So if value today you bring your issue at workplace, uh, Kayesu bring his. I bring mine, he bring his. Mm -hmm. What will be happening? It will be an anarchy. Mm. So that is what professionalism is trying to avoid. That's the reason I say, even if you're a husband and wife or a boyfriend, girlfriend, at workplace, make sure you don't tell us that when you're working. <laughs> <laughs> when you're given a role, for example, if, if it's your husband uh -huh. orders, for example, if the husband is the producer uh -huh. and uh, the lady is the presenter, I'm, I'm not trying to, to demean anybody in any way. Mm -hmm. Both roles affect anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the man can be the pre uh, presenter, the lady can be the producer. Mm -hmm. You need to take those instructions as a person who's been given direct orders from his senior. Mm -hmm. Not taking the orders like a person has gotten the orders from the husband or the wife. Mm -hmm. So when you, say, you learn how to separate these things, then things will work smoothly. Mm -hmm. If you go back at home, you tell him, anyway, you usually hard on me on this, on this, on this. But mm. if it works with you in professionally, it, it fits within your ethics or profession, then that's fine. If it doesn't fit with your professional uh, ethics, then you just tell it off. But you can work within the same environment. Val. Okay, so has, okay. Yeah. yeah. Husband and wife working in one place yeah. is enough for me. No. N-O, no. No, it's not possible, Gori. Yeah, it's because we need spaces. 
and we also need breaks mm. yeah imagine we were together at night we ate supper together mm. went to bed yeah. we wake up bathe go to work together yeah. come back in the evening where's the break there but we need break what happens like if and, we are doctors uh, and, and, and we have such a horrible type thank of schedule you. And, and uh, okay so if i do not marry a doctor it's sure to end up in divorce we, they, they are they are they are different hospitals uh -huh. mine even give, give a close example we even have camera person who is married to a reporter for example yeah. No, that so is too much. Go, you know, no, Gori, it, we need sometimes better. to get to, to close to like when Val comes in the morning, mm. I can hug her. I can say that, 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 for friendship, yeah. for just for friendship as a workmate and if, all if that. You look at this it is very difficult mm. when you are working in office with your with like Val's husband so are here yeah. was here. Do do you think it can, it could be possible to have this face like all this face? It it even interferes with professionalism. What all this it, face? What what, what like the like the shining what, what face what, what, let me tell the you, shining let me face tell all the yes. time uh, sometimes we'll be like mm, yeah. this man pinched <laughs> to me in the morning okay, yes, so let me say something yeah you see most of these multinational organizations uh let, let me take for example bbc for mm. example uh there was a point that they really preferred to get supporters for example who are a couple, for example, who can be able to edit yeah. at the same time do a camera work for the for the husband, so that if, for example, if you are sent in, for example, into Khan, mm. even if it's something that you are going to do there for three months, there is no uh, that bit of you are missing your your colleague, yes. so that you start having that <laughs> you are homesick or the husband okay. is complaining on the other end. You are also so you. I'm imagining it, oh. it becomes better. I'm imagining now the wife is the boss, and the husband. Is yeah, now the, the no is problem. is now the subordinate. It, no it will be horrible. <laughs> like she will make sure everybody knows that uh, she is your boss. Then that's where we. Let me <laughs> uh, how many times uh, have we ever heard of reporters working in the same organization mm -hmm. in the same media, where it, it, let, let's even come out of the media? Yeah? We have people who are doing entrepreneurship, businessmen. We have family businesses that have been established even in Kenya here. How many times have you had people mm. who work together? You My know? friend, make another branch. Make, make Ronald Ngala branch <laughs> or Kayole branch. Take your wife there. The easiest problem here is... But one place, all the time, you like 24 hours. 24 hours. Space. You need to miss each other. You know, missing each other is part of love. It, it, it is a spice to love. I, I, don't, I don't agree because it's not missing each other that makes you together, that puts you together. It's how you discuss your issues and how you articulate issues that you don't want and issues that you want that keeps you together. You can be very different. You, uh, one can be a librarian and one can be a noisy reporter in the field, but you guys, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't you know, you connect so well because of maybe the way you handle your issues. It's totally different. Mzungu but said two things. This point, for example, if if you guys work in the same profession, you're a journalist and uh, she's a journalist. For example, that is. Uh, the the boss issue being out of the question. Yes. Then you understand the challenges that I go through. Yeah. Uh, I understand the challenges yes. that you go through. So it's easier for me if, for example, you tell me today I'm late because I was still writing this report. I would understand immediately. Yeah. For example, if you go and tell a, a librarian on an account or somewhere, I was still doing a PTC that was uh, <laughs> giving me a lot of text. What is that? They can they can take T to mean operation or some Easy. surgery. And that's a problem. <laughs> 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 they would understand. Yeah. They would understand. Who are, working, who are working at different places. Mm -hmm. But you see, the lady works till late in the night. Mm -hmm. So one day, the husband asked the lady, this is a, a true story, mm -hmm. because I was kind of, in, I got involved somewhere in being a mediator. In the know. mix. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I hope uh, you weren't the cause of the problem. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are not the family breaker. I the solution of the problem. <laughs>